All right, so let me go through what we're doing here. Um, got word from one of the guys that the basin is filling up with tarpon or had been before this last big winds, but things are settling down today, so hopefully they might come back. Uh, but anyways, I am going to be doing um, float fishing with pinfish. So first step is to acquire some pinfish. So I'm using my standard pinfish rig. I got this cheap rod set up. I'm using a uh, Carolina rig basically with a small egg sinker and a very small um, long shank number 12 hook, bait hook. And I've got one of my patented squid rolls because I don't need very much. I only need like maybe four pinfish, if that. And I can catch them anywhere. I just want to catch a couple right now, get out there, put them out, and then I can catch more when I'm out there. Um, I'm anchored up in the grassy flats area and I'm just gonna cast that out and then slowly reel it back and pick up a couple quick pinfish and then we'll go over the float system that I'm using. All right, first cast and it looks like we've got our target species acquired and it looks like a perfect size and it is a perfect size. So that's what we're using, gonna be using for bait, Mr. Pinfish. I prefer grunts, but the grunts aren't in the shallows right now. So you can always rely on a pinfish. All right, let's talk about bobbers. I'll probably do a video on the bobbers that I use because there's a bunch of different kinds. I actually just do the bobbers however they're designed based on the ones that I find. Because I don't buy these, I just find a sh crap load of them in the mangroves when I'm out and about and keep them in set them up depending on this the type they are like this one has the tube in it so i could pinch the line with the green uh marker and then pinch it in there i did this one as a slip rig so there is a swivel up there and i can put the bait on here and cast it out and the bait will go down and this will go up as high as i've got the swivel and then that's the stopper and then the other kind i've got is this one was an odd one uh, this is the kind that has uh, you would tie your main line to the top and then retie a leader to the bottom however looking at the diameter of this wire um, going through there I wasn't very impressed with it I didn't want to rely on those so I just ran it through the uh, top and then through the bottom and then it cinches down so it's not going to slide or move and then I have that solid connection that I don't have to worry about and then I just put it wherever I want it and then go from there. It's just a little bit harder to cast when you have a long leader bobber. So that's why I do like the slip rig, but that didn't have the a little straw through it. So that's the two setups that I'm going to use, but there's other ways, but I'll probably do a separate video about those. So time to get bait on the water. And that's all I'm basically hooking them there. That way I've got the bobber up top and they can just swim around and get eaten. Put that bobber out and let him go burn out some energy and then he won't be able to take that bobber down and we just got to wait for a bite <laughs> 